I don't know if I should call it a good time or a bad time. But uh, with the kind of experience he's got, he's played so much uh, international cricket that he should uh, not feel any pressure. He should feel comfortable, comfortable and confident. Yeah, it's easy for you to say, 150 metres away <laughs> up here. But, uh, oh, don't you worry, that adrenaline will be pumping through the net of Rizal. Here we go. Bailey gets a short, slow bouncer. Is it out? Yes, it is. The crowd have erupted here in Dubai and gone crazy. First ball of the series, and Abdul Azak has got a wicket. Sensational scenes here for the home side. Brilliant stuff. Bailey, the captain, has to go. Couldn't see it off to the end. He's gone for 42, seven down for 142. Young Patrick Cummins. So we're down into the engine room with the bowlers. Specialist bowlers. So a handful of matches. He's at the non-striker's end. It's Dan Christian. And he gets a full toss. It'll only be one though. Massive pressure on the teenager, Pat Cummins. Well, I told you, Lazard is not feeling any pressure. He's picked up a wicket and a very important wicket. There's a serious pressure building now. Slower bouncer, couldn't control the shot. And there you go. Crowd in their feet and nicely taken by Yasir Arafat. Yes! That's the wicket they needed. <laughs> Wonderful scenes. And uh, the captain, Mohamed Afi, celebrating with Razak. Nine from four. It ain't over yet. Slower, Cummins. Arafat being extremely busy out there at uh, deep square leg on the boundary. Importantly for Australia, it brings Dan Christian on strike. Eight from three. Interesting now if he finds the fence, hits a boundary. Well, more than uh, the players, the families are uh, feeling the pressure. This is uh, Mrs. Umago. There's that slower bouncer again. Needed to get two there because right now Cummins has to hit a boundary. You'd have to feel he's got to find the fence and hit a four. Simply lost key players at vital moments of Australia. Bailey had just got out for 42. Mike Hussey was set and got out. And same with Shane Watson. Big! Oh, disappearing! This one has gone over the fence to silence this huge crowd. Can you believe it? One from one needed. And Cummins is making a hero of himself. They're out of their seats, are the Aussies? Oh my God, I don't really think any of the person in the crowd expected this. Look at that hit, that's mega. That's worth a million dollar. They can't believe it. A very small crowd, the Australian crowd, on their feet. Now what? Well, he knows pressure, Cummins. He was batting at the end of that test match in Johannesburg. Batting at the end with Mitch Johnson in Johannesburg late last year. You've got to bring everyone in. It's just a no-brainer. Muhammad Hafiz. Can Razak be the ultimate hero? Scores a level. Last ball. Straight up in the air. Who's calling for it? Jared, there we go. He couldn't finish it, Cummins. We're going to have a super over. Oh, it's been scripted brilliantly. 
sixth tie in T20 international cricket. We've got another one. And Australia are going to have to send out whoever they choose to strike. Pat Cummins could have been the ultimate hero. Oh, extraordinary scenes. Super over now. What a game of cricket. It wasn't the best of the deliveries. Uh, Abdul Razak got it lucky there that uh, got the top edge. And uh, Imran Nazir made no mistake. Quite comfortable. And uh, we got into a super over. What a game of cricket. Amazing game of cricket. Well, I've just been told in this super over the Australians are going to bat first they've just finished their innings had their 20 overs but they get to bat first so Pakistan will have to choose their bowler nominate their bowler to bowl this super over what a game came down to the wire now it's been a tie and we've got the super over which is fabulous to decide again. The Cool and Cool Cup is still alive. They wanted to win this big time to Pakistan with this huge crowd and take out the series. It ain't over yet. There's no fat lady singing at the moment. It has gone right down to this. A super over. Fantastic scenes. Amazing. The big question for Pakistan is... Uh Who's going to bowl that over? Saeed Ajmal, Omar Gul, Muhammad Afiz. They've got all the options. It's going to be the tough one. But what a game of cricket. Look at that. They wanted to chase 152. That's what they were looking for. End up at 151. That means the game is tired.